what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video so i have here this uh, new longboard i'm working on i call it the glider the glider log it has a glider outline and a high performance longboard attributes very very complicated nice cool surfboard uh, but I'm gonna I want to do something fun with this one if you follow the channel and you follow my videos You know that uh, I am very influenced right now with carbon fiber just like this beautiful board here Okay, however, I don't want to make this entire board uh, uh, Full carbon it feels too much to me and uh, I don't want to have a very very dark deck So we are going to combine two techniques over here. We're gonna do the bottom is going to be carbon fiber. The top is going to be very nice uh, uh, fiberglass with a nice resin tint. So it should be very, very interested, interesting to combine two techniques together. Uh, and uh, we'll see how it's going to turn out. Okay, let's go. We'll start by uh, putting tape on the deck, mark our cut lap. So we'll have a nice clean line and uh, we'll move all forward from there.
because this is black it's so hard to see even though i try to scratch very very strong but eventually i managed to do it and the line looks good for the cutlap because it's not because the cutlap is not going to be black it's going to be gray with a little bit of pigment it's important to have a very nice uh, cutlap fabric the top one is a 6 OZ then 4 OZ patch on the bottom and then in the middle I have a diamond made from three and a half OZ in Negra if you don't know what is in Negra it's a fiberglass and it has plastic threads inside it's going to create nice pattern of a diamond and it's extremely extremely strong so full carbon on the bottom then three layers of fabric on the top and this board is going to be relatively light for an EPS longboard but also very very strong. As I told you we're gonna have fun with this one. I'm gonna create a very nice resin art right now mixing some yellows and grays so it's gonna be interesting. <laughs>
wasn't easy at all. It's extremely hot today. The epoxy starts to work to kick in fast and I mixed just enough resin. I should have mixed a little bit more, but look at the results. Resin art. Uh, I love it. You guys tell me in the comments, but I absolutely love it. Remember that the bottom is black. So the combination should be very, very nice. I'm gonna let it cure now for about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do my cut lap. And then I'm gonna give it 24 hours to cure. me about the spray I use to do the finish of the board I always say I'm using a matte clear finish matte uh, this is x2 brand um, I have nothing to do with them this is just what I use it's very cheap 
it costs like eight or nine bucks um, and this is good to give you a very very nice matte sand finish um, in a very very professional way I'm never using the gloss if I want to do a gloss I'm gonna polish the board so this is good for the matte finish and I really like that finish Okay, <clears throat> I'm done uh, using the clear coat uh, from both both uh, sides and the board looks just perfect, but it is not enough for me. I'm going to use now this sealer and that's going to be the final step. So <clears throat> I'm using the sealer and the sealer is going to be completely the final step for this board. It's going to give it nice professional finish. Okay guys, so this project is done. It was a uh, lot and lot and lot of fun. And it looks absolutely amazing. 9.4, uh, I call it the glider log. It has a glider outline, um, high performance board. Should be lots of fun. I mean, this is a very, very fast outline and also very maneuverable. Um, because I use carbon here, the the weight is uh, it's unbelievable let me just uh, flip it over i mean this is absolutely amazing I, I couldn't be happier with this it has carbon on the bottom it has a uh, four oz patch over here you can see the white lines it has Negra stringer inside reinforce it it has four oz and then six oz wrapping all around old school leash plug very nice resin artwork i can't wait to get it into the water as always guys you know it takes me a long time to create these videos and boards i would appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel more nice things are coming see you soon